<laughs> okay, so we just got our first email from React Holiday and we have an assignment. We need to implement the simplest version of a show more component that we can, okay? So it'll probably involve button, state, a couple of conditionals, and to keep it real, a way to truncate the text. Okay. Now, my favorite way to start a, a new kind of component project like this these days is to use Vite. Um, there's a couple commands here. So let's grab this one and do it in the terminal. I will paste this in. Uh, we're gonna use the React template. There's a number of templates here, um, but we're just gonna do React template. We'll call this show more. Let's try that. Cool, so then we can just uh, CD show more, pmpm install, Oop, nope, pmpm install, pmpm run. Was it dev? Was that it? Yes, okay, open that. Perfect, and open it in code. Okay, so we find app.js and we delete everything that we don't need. Uh, and then let's put uh, some text. I wonder if there's a way to like actually, so we see that there, um, generate a text for this because we want like a large block of text. I mean, I guess we could just like keep letting Copilot add the next word. That's a big pain in the ass though. Let's look for like a developer ipsum, something silly. Developer Ipsum. How many paragraphs? Uh, let's just do two paragraphs. Generate, copy, and paste. Perfect. Let's put this inside of a paragraph, something like that, even though there's two paragraphs here. So cheating a little bit and uh, add a button. That was one of the first things. So we'll call this show uh, less, I guess is probably the first thing that we need to do. Yeah, cool, show, show less. Click on that, nothing happens um, as we could assume. So we have this state and we need to use the state to do something. Let's change this to false, change count to expanded. Now let's add some styles to this. So uh, style, let's just change the display for now. So if we have a display of, if it's expanded, we want the display to be um, block, otherwise none. And then this button is just gonna set expanded, right? On click, set expanded. And we can do something it's really easy, like not expanded. Okay, so it's not expanded. And then we get it. Okay, cool, 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 perfect. Now, displaying isn't gonna be exactly what we want, so let's try to improve that a little bit. I think we could uh, like truncate this text if we put it into a prop, but I think more so I wanna do it based on height. So let's change this to max height. It's expanded, say none, I think none is appropriate. And then if it is, we'll say 100 pixels. You know, I'm gonna change that to text because I prefer the explicitness. Okay, um, well, we have a little bit of layout uh, silliness because of this CSS file, so we can make that go away. M maybe this isn't my favorite way to make a CSS app anymore. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so we have this, and so <laughs> this is funny. This is kind of like that 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 classic CSS uh, issue, you know, CSS is awesome, uh, where the bounding box isn't like actually collapsing over the content. So we need to set one more property, I think, which is overflow hidden. Okay, cool. So now this opens and closes. It doesn't do so particularly gracefully, um, but it does open and close over that content. All right. So we, we see a handful of things that could be improved uh, a little bit. Like this is just cutting off. We don't see any like truncation. It'd be nice if there was like a truncated uh, thing right here. And this doesn't like animate in any meaningful way. It just bonk, bonk, bonk. Pretty boring, but it's done and it works. Okay, so we got day one done. We used state, we used button, we used a little bit of styles, which I kind of forgot to mention, but it's okay. The next part of this is for you to use a ref to get access to the underlying DOM. So we have a notion of how tall this element actually is and what it should be shrinking to and from. I have the documentation right here. If you want to hear my take on what a ref is, well, then you can sign up for react.holiday and get this email newsletter to get all of my takes on these specific elements or subscribe and get this tomorrow. So that's it for day one. We scaffolded out our basic component. I'm gonna put some links to the introduction video up here and then followed by the next solution video, which I will include next. Bye.